All right, first things first, you have an element in the center here and this needs to get hot enough to vaporize the fuel and then it's going. So let's do that. I also just woke up and I haven't had my coffee yet. Let's see how this goes. Once you uh, have your so stove all set up, you're gonna open up the main valve, the one that is on the fuel canister or on the pump for the fuel canister. And then you're gonna pump it. And this pumping is actually what gives the stove the pressure, obviously, but this also allows the stove to burn in cold conditions. I usually like to pump it 40 times. And if you can't count to 40, then count to 20 twice. Then you're gonna let a little bit of fuel into the bottom of this dish here. So I just open it up and I can see some fuel gets dumped in there. And you gotta kinda be a little quick about it because this fuel just evaporates pretty fast. So see, I got a fire going now. There's a bit of a flame there. I just gotta keep an eye on it and not let it go out. Usually you have a windscreen, but for demonstration purposes, I'm not using the windscreen. So as that element heats up, one of two things are gonna happen. Either you're gonna catch it in time and you're gonna start increasing the amount of fuel coming out of the canister, and then it should catch and you should hear the, the kind of sound of the, the stove. Or that flame's gonna go out on you and you're gonna turn on the gas to let gas out and it doesn't look like the gas is pooling in the bottom. Usually right when you look away, that's when the flame goes out. I just looked away. So now that I turned it on, I hear it hissing. I might be able to start it. There we go. Because I got that center element hot enough, now it's vaporizing any of the fuel that's coming out of the tank. Well, thanks. I hope you found that helpful. I hope it was useful. Uh, I hope you learned how to light your white gas stove. My name is Ben, by the way, from Conjuring Rock. If you're into outdoor camping and well, what other kind of camping is there? If you're into camping and fishing uh, and that kind of stuff, maybe consider subscribing. I've got tons of adventures on my channel and more to come. I'll catch you later. Where's that coffee?